What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads and the 76ers fall to the Miami Heat 108 to 99. Now, before we begin, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment if you'd like to. And clearly, hey, I'm in a new environment. I am home for spring break, so I am not at my college apartment where I normally am, but that's okay. So let's get it going. Where do I begin with this? Listen, I'm not upset that we lose some games here and there anymore. I'm starting to realize we are deep into this season. Our players are young. They're experiencing for the first time, like Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, that this season is long and tiring and hard on the body. But there needs to be some type of fix for this because Joel Embiid looks gassed. He looks tired. I don't understand what these dribble jump shots are doing. He, he just looks exhausted. I think he needs a night off. I think he needs a night off. And I know we keep talking about we need Ben Simmons to learn how it is to be a pro with this long season. And I get that. And maybe should we push him and say, hey, listen, this is how it is at this level. You need to figure it out. But I don't think that's going to work right now. I don't think that's the answer right now. I think he just needs a night off. Send him back home to Philly. Let him sit out this Brooklyn game. And hey, we will play against the Pacers on Tuesday. That's what I would say to Joel Embiid. He just looks absolutely gassed. Robert Covington, don't get me started. Don't get me started. 0 for 10 from the field. 0 for 5 from 3. Oh, Joel Embiid ends up getting 17 points and 7 boards, but he did 5 of 18 shooting. His last few nights, just not there. It's just not there. It's frustrating to watch. I don't understand. It's like he's playing a different style. He's playing a different style. He's trying to dribble the ball. He's trying to put up a lot of jump shots. And they're not falling. They're not falling. And I think Brett Brown needs to sit, sit down and process this. Do we need him to play? the next game. In, in my opinion, it's time for a rest. It is. I understand the people that say he needs to to grind through this and find a way. I get it. But at this point, what's one game? What's one game? You can tell, though, he looks all over the place, even when he's jumping, when he's landing. His body is just all over the place. It's time. Give the kid a rest. Give the kid a rest. We need... Holmes to get in there for a couple uh, for a game to log him in some minutes maybe TLC just th this next game give the starters a little bit of time to regroup and get ready for this Victor Oladipo squad that is coming in on Tuesday night now looking at some other other players on the Sixers for this game Dario uh, he's been impressing me he puts up a double double 20 points 10 boards he had five of ten from the field four three pointers he looks like he's ready for a professional career with his body now I know everyone's tired but he looks controlled he you know you can see sometimes where he looks tired but he looks demanding with the basketball the way Dario has been playing down the stretch is really impressing me he really is. You have Ben Simmons giving you 10, 8, and 8. He is just fantastic. Every night I fall in love with him more and more with the way he passes the basketball. J.J. Redick had a fantastic night shooting, 18 points, 5 assists. And you got to remember, this is the Miami Heat building where he missed that wide open 3 to win us the ball game a few games ago. So you know he had that in his mind. There's no way he didn't think about that mentally preparing for this basketball game and you know obviously he didn't have another opportunity to do it but and Bellinelli comes in off the bench 30 minutes hit a couple three-pointers 14 points TJ McConnell at one point TJ he logged in 20 minutes but at one point TJ had Dwayne Wade on him one-on-one, -on -one, and he cooked right by him for a layup. Now, I understand there is a huge age difference, but <laughs> TJ on Dwayne Wade, I was laughing. I was, come on. I love that. I love that. So, one of the things, obviously, that's big is Robert Covington, okay? 0 for 10. People are bashing him, and I get it. He brings a defensive perimeter uh, uh, perimeter defense to RD, and I get that. I just, I can't believe the downfall he had. Come on, from what he was doing in the beginning of the year to the contract to what he's doing now, it's just, I get it. I get it with people that are upset because so many 76ers fans are just ripping him apart, but how can you not? 0 for 10 from the field, he's so streaky. I mean, the night he had a few nights back, hitting a bunch of three-pointers to this. 
I just can't believe this is where we're at right now. It's typical Philadelphia when you think about it, but we're not like that anymore because we're Super Bowl champions. To me, this 76er squad is obviously going to make the playoffs. And I get it. This is a stretch where our young players are going to be tested. So that's why I'm sitting back. I'm taking deep breaths. I'm not going to just crush it like I did against that last Miami time where we lost and I was pissed off. I need to sit back, take deep breaths, and realize this team is so young, experiencing their first ever you know, playoff situation like this where they got to win some games down the stretch, and they will, but they, they're being tested, and I want to see how they're going to answer. This is all great experience for these young players. Looking on the other side, Hassan Whiteside kind of had Joel Embiid tonight. He had 26 points, 8 boards. He did a little work on him tonight. Well, obviously, that's going to happen. Dwayne Wade, where is he? 16 points. He logged in 23 minutes, getting older, but I still love watching him play. He's one of my favorite players. But So at the end of this game, I sit back, I realize we lose 108 to 99. In the standings, we are sitting in the sixth seed, 35 and 29. Indiana is one and a half games ahead of us. So we're not in a bad spot. We're not in a bad spot. Our team just looks like they are kind of exhausted. They're tired. And my, my main point is Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid looks gassed, and I can't get over it. It's pretty It's pretty bad, I'll be honest with you. It's sloppy looking when he's playing. And I think he needs a night off because we head to Brooklyn on Sunday, Sunday night at 7.30. And that's a team where... They got they're twenty one and forty five. Sometimes they play a little hard. You you underestimate how hard they work because of their record, which I've seen happen in the past. But at the same time, I think we have enough where if Joel Joel Embiid takes the night off, we should be able to win the basketball game with throwing someone like Ilya Sova and and Holmes a little bit more minutes. There's no way we don't have enough. Brett Brown needs to look at this and realize. Joel Embiid is gassed. It's pretty obvious. So, with that being said, we lose the game. We move on to the next one. We'll be okay. We got to find a way to fight through this stretch. <laughs> Both squads lose last night. The Flyers lose a tough one. The Sixers lose. We're young on both sides. Let's see how this works. We got to get through it. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Comment if you'd like to. I enjoy speaking with you guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time.